Hello everyone and welcome in this video where today we are going to learn how to find out the values of Z parameters of a two port network using MATLAB. But before going to the MATLAB software, we need to know some of the basics of the two port network. What is a two port network and what are the Z parameters? So Z parameters are also known as the open circuit parameters. Uh, as you can see here, this is a two port network and suppose this is the input side and this is the output side. Now at the input side, suppose the voltage is V1 and at the output side, suppose the voltage is V2 and suppose the current flowing is I1 here uh, on the input side and on the output side is I2. Now here are four uh, parameters, four things that we need to calculate Z11, Z21, Z12 and Z to two. what is the specific name of this parameters we will discuss about it later now first of all we need to remember these two equations first is the v1 is equals to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 equals to z22 i2 plus z21 i1 so these are the two equations that we need to keep in mind while uh, doing the two port network or while calculating the values of z11 z12 z22 and z21 now suppose when i2 is equals to 0 now how can we meet the value of i2 0 if this second side if this side is open circuited then we can say that the value of i2 would be 0 so when i2 would be equal to 0 then z11 will be equal to v1 by i1 and z11 is the open circuit input impedance okay so from if we keep the value of i2 equals to 0 we can calculate the value of z11 similarly while keeping the value of i2 equals to 0 we can also calculate the value of z21 which, which is the open circuit forward transfer impedance now why is it the open circuit forward transfer impedance open circuit obviously you know that because we are calculating the value by open circuit in this side so and keeping the value of i2 equals to 0 that's why it is open circuit forward transfer because here v2 by i1 means output by input that's why we are uh, saying to be forward transfer impedance and uh, this is input impedance because v1 by i1 uh, this is very simple now similarly if we keep the value of i1 is equals to 0 by open circuit in this side then uh, we can easily find out the value of z12 which will be equal to v1 by i2 and z22 will be equal to v2 by i2 now z12 is open circuit reverse transfer impedance because z21 was open circuit forward transfer impedance so obviously z12 will be opposite of that so that will be open circuit reverse transfer impedance and z22 will be open circuit output impedance and uh, obviously we got all these values using these two equations so that's why these two equations are very much uh, crucial and you need to remember this and and if we put the value of i2 equals to 0 in this equation in these two equations we will get the value of z11 and z21 and when we put the value of i1 equals to 0 in these two equations we will get the value of z12 and z22 so this is a, a basic introduction to the two port network and uh, z parameters i hope you have understood this and uh, if yes then let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts then also let me know in the comment section also make sure to subscribe to the channel now let's move on to the second part of this video which is the MATLAB part where we will see how to find out the values of these parameters using the MATLAB software so before going to the MATLAB software we need to have some sort of circuit which we will simulate in the MATLAB so suppose this is the circuit where we have two voltage sources because it is a two port network and we have got three resistances of value 120 ohm 100 ohm and 40 ohm so we will make this circuit in MATLAB so now we will make the circuit in the MATLAB software for that we need to go to the view option and then to the library browser this is the place from where we will find the components which we need to uh, make the circuit so we can get the components from the sim power system so from the sim power system we can go to the elements uh, where we will find this RLC branch so we can find out the resistance from it and uh, from the electrical sources we can take the DC voltage source then for measurement of current we can take this and for the measurement of voltage we can, we can take this we also need a display here you can simply search the components also so the display which we need uh, to get the values of current and voltages and uh, yeah so these are the major components that we need to make our circuit now let's straight away go to the circuit so we don't need the rlc branch we need the r branch or the uh, resistance only 
we need actually three resistances so we can uh, simply copy this resistance now in order to rotate this resistance we can use control R and if you want to increase the size of it you can just simply magnify it like this and if you want to join the components you can just simply join it like this so let's quickly uh, complete the circuit and then I will show you the simulation so our circuit is ready here and uh, if you want to change the values of the components you can just simply double click on the component and then you can change the values from here I have already changed the values and uh, now we just need to run this circuit so from here I will uh, go to start simulation and then I will check the values so these are the values as you can see I have uh, used a 100 volt uh, DC source here so the value displayed on this voltmeter is 100 obviously and this is the value of I1 which is 0 0.625 and, and this is the value of V2 which is 25 volts right so what I have done is uh, so in order to keep this side open circuited and in order to keep the value of I2 to be 0 I have just simply connected a voltmeter here it was in case of open circuit the value of current is zero but we we'll get some value of voltage so we have got the value of open circuit voltage uh, which is v2 to be 25 and uh, i1 is 0 0.625 i v1 is 100 so as we know that z11 is equals to v1 by i1 so then uh, by using that formula z11 will be 100 by 0 0.625 we can calculate the value and uh, similarly z 21 is equals to v2 by i1 so using that formula uh, z21 will be equal to 25 by 0 0.625 so if it's uh, so by doing some simple calculation we can find out the values of z11 and z21 and simply we can find out the values of z22 and z12 as well so now in order to uh, calculate the values of uh, Z22 and Z12 I have open circuited this side making I1 is equal to 0 so now the value of this source is 50 volt as you can see here and the value of I2 is 0 0.35 and the value of uh, V1 when this side is open circuited is 14.29 so now we uh, so now since we have got all these values we can calculate easily Z22 using the formula Z22 equals to V2 by I2 and also we can easily calculate Z12 using the formula Z12 is equals to V1 by I2. So after calculating all the values we get the value of Z11 to be 160 ohm, the value of Z12 to be, to be 40.82 ohms, the value of Z21 to be 40 ohms and the value of Z22 to be 142.85 ohms. You can also verify these values. You can also try uh, these things by your own. And uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt regarding this whole video, regarding this uh, whole session. And uh, once again, thank you everyone for watching this video till the end. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you are an electrical engineering student, then uh, I have suggested some ports uh, which are given in the comment section which can be very much useful uh, for you so make sure to check out the links of the ports and uh, I have also provided some notes in the comment section so you can also check out those notes and once again thank you very much for watching this video till the end